something is seriously hitting and hurting British communities, and it's slowly but surely over in the UK, and it's starting to spread to the United States. Our British friend and humorist Rick Adams joins us with his view from over there. Stop the presses, Michaela. Irish. Hold everything. Some really, really serious news is happening over here. Forgive me. It's uh, it's also highly emotional, Michaela. Sorry uh, about that. What exactly is ha happening, honey? Can you speak through the tears? Really, Michaela? Really? This is a big deal for us Brits. I mean, how, how do you asking. how do you not know about this? Because because last year, according to the British Beer and Pub Association, Britain lost around a thousand pubs. A thousand pubs. Of course, there are fifty thousand left. But it's a very disturbing trend. <laughs> Pub Mageddon. Anyway, uh, look, the reason it's happening is a tale of modern woe and greed. Homes are so expensive here that pubs, yes, pubs, are being converted into places to live. What the heck? From 5 p.m. every day, the whole of the UK lives there already anyway. Plus, due to bad weather, this year's crop of barley has been so poor that beer's way more expensive, smokers have been kicked out of pubs, hipster craft beer microbreweries are smothering the market with their bearded expensive hoppy foamy liquid mouth candy then add cheap supermarket booze to the mix which means more people want to stay at home and save money they don't go out and have a drink before going to the movies they now have a netflix and chill which um uh, oh actually um, <laughs> hey. something but um hey let's move on look look this spells disaster michaela for the british pub okay uh, I think you're being slightly overwrought about this. I think that you're being overly emotive. Is this a, a is this a proper reaction to all of this, my dear? Mick, Mick, Mick. Really? Just wait, <laughs> okay? Because perishing pub syndrome, or as I call it, PPS, is spreading across the U.S. as well. The former president of the United Restaurant and Tavern Owners of New York says 40% of the city's traditional pubs have closed in the last 10 years. And it's not because Americans have stopped drinking. Who knew? Recent market research shows there are increased consumer drinking patterns. And with your election going as it is right now, are you surprised? Watch out for a spike in Cheetos on the weekend too, by the way, guys. People aren't just drowning their sorrows in America. They're waterboarding them. Not in pubs, though. In hip, handcrafted beer cocktail lounges where you can grab a quinoa caviar popcorn with a side of kumquat mousse instead mm. of pork rinds. Mm. I mean, you think Ravage Joe wants to beer up next to people who like stuff like that? There's your social inequality, Michaela, right there. That's why the numbers in pubs are down in the US too, Mick. Is this really something that we need to really concern ourselves? I feel like I have a long list of things to worry about right now already. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm speechless. I'm not. I'll tell you why. <laughs> a new book by Christine Sismondo, who we all know, called America Walks Into a Bar, has discovered the huge importance of the pub in an American neighborhood, called Dursey's. Uh, turns out, in the past, pubs had laws that kept prices low. It used to be the one place people from all levels of life could mix, make friends, share news, and learn from each other. It was also the original Tinder, but in another way, lighting the fuse for people to take action way more easily than if they were sober, which explains why fights break out at family get-togethers, right? That's what broke the <laughs> US and UK family up. The American Revolution came out of bars. Now do you see why they're so important? They built America. Old-style pubs are an unpretentious link to the past when humans actually had to look up from their phones, communicate with each other, a place where friendships were made, romance kindled, and new lives created. Well, when the pub's closed, anyway. Look, the pub is an important heritage, and, and if we all stay at home on our own drinking, I fear for the future of the human race, because Tinder just isn't gonna cut it. Swipe left on that one. But at least the upside is, it'll be quieter and easier for me to order a pint at my local, if it's still there. <laughs> Cheers, Michaela. No PPS for him, and don't worry, it's like well into the afternoon in Britain. Out here on the West Coast, it's like 9 o'clock in the morning. Too early for beer. Rick Adams for us out here on the West Coast. My dear, thank you very much. Enjoy your pint. <laughs> PPS.